Hello, Papa. Sharpies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back, welcome back. What's up, what's up? Um, I just got home from a trip at like, let's say 1 a.m. last night and it is now 2 p.m. and I'm back at work. Yeah, we're doing six days in a row. Surprisingly though, I'm not super tired right now and I got the bright idea to not only wash my hair again, because I know if you watched my last video, I washed my hair before that trip, but I washed it and blue dried it because I just wanted to do a ponytail because all my natural girlies know that twisting your hair every night is just very tedious. I didn't feel like doing it. So I have like this little braided pony in just so that um, I can kind of tame it because I didn't like straighten it or anything. I'm about to go in the airport and grab some food and then I will catch you guys once I get to my plane and give you more details on my trip. So we worked two whole flights. We only have one left. And guess who I'm flying with? Y'all will never guess who. Um, don't mind my little ponytail. I'm going to fix it later. But guess who I'm flying with. None other than... Oops, Ashley! Hey, friends! So we worked two whole flights. We went Houston to Denver. That one wasn't full, it was only like 117. And then when we did, and then we did Denver to Dallas. That one only had like 70 people on this next flight, only has like 25 people on it. But the plane is off and it is hot on here. I'm about to fill up my water bottle. Or my water cup, should I say. I'm about to fill up my little cup. And then yeah, we only have 20 people. We love that, like I love that for me. We're overnighting in St. Louis tonight. This flight shouldn't be longer than like an hour and 15 minutes. Apparently it's also Taco Tuesday at the hotel. So we have that. We've been on a 700 all day. I'm not a fan of the 700. It's not terrible, but like, if I had a choice, I would be on an 800. But well, I didn't have a choice today. I think we're on an 800 tomorrow though. Can we go to the beach? Beach, let's go get away. We do that tomorrow. And that's all I got for y'all. It's been a pretty calm and mellow day. I'm currently charging my phone too because it's about to die. I don't know why it's always about to die. It hasn't been a terrible day. So we're gonna chill. We're gonna work this flight and I'll talk to you at the hotel. But it's in my hotel in St. Louis. Actually, it's rushing me because it's Taco Tuesday. Um, I'll give you a room tour when I get back. I'll even just change my clothes real quick, but we're about to go to the crew room and eat our tacos. So let go. Okay, so I made it back to my room and I'm literally about to start getting ready for bed. It's like midnight and our van time is at 11.40 a.m. my room is freezing y'all like it's so cold in here so i'm gonna finally give you all that tour um i did absolutely nothing i stayed in the bed um and redid my ponytail and I talked to my mom and my sister and that's literally all I did because by the time I got back in here, it was already time to wake up. But this room was so freaking cold. Like the temperature would not go above 68 on a thermostat. I literally took the blanket off the other bed because I was that cold. Did not sleep that well. We have three legs today and they're all over two hours, I think, or at least the first two are over two hours. One flight is full, the other two are not full. So I'm just ready to get it done so I can go lay on the beach tomorrow morning. Um, we're on an 800 today. Hopefully it's a new one so they're not cramped in the bag, but if it's an old one, it doesn't make me know never mind because I always have my own galley, which we love. That's why we fly a um, nine minutes of van time. I'm gonna go downstairs. And I will see you guys when I get to the plane. We landed in LaGuardia. It was only like an hour and 50 minutes to get here. And it was only 69 people. That's the kind of stuff I like. Yeah. So we got here a little bit early though. So we're just sitting here waiting for a new D and new pilots because we lost all of those. Um, and yeah, now we just have two more flights. We're about to go to, we're about to go. We're about to go to LaGuardia, Atlanta, and then Atlanta, Fort Lauderdale, and then we're done for the night. It is a raining hot mess here. Look. And why did this man, I gave him his cup of ice, and within three seconds, the entire cup of ice was on the floor. Then spilled the ice all over the floor. 
I looked back, I thought I heard something. So when I finally looked back, because I was in the galley, and I looked back, I was like, well, what happened? He's like, I don't know, I spilled it. So I had to give him another cup. Luckily, he did not spill that one. So I made it to my hotel here in Fort Lauderdale. It is like 12.30 at night. I had to go back downstairs because the safe in my room is clicking nonstop. You can probably hear it in the background. So she said she's gonna send an engineer out to um, have him deactivate it. I actually also had to switch her room because she does not like adjoining rooms and she could hear the person over there, I don't know. But this clicking is gonna drive me crazy if they don't figure out a way to stop it. So that's what we're waiting for now. Um, I'm about to unpack. It wasn't really a bad day, but the second flight we didn't get up, right? We didn't do service. It was like almost a two hour flight we didn't do service because y'all, it was, we was pop locking and dropping it in the sky, you feel me? So we didn't get up on that flight and then they gave us an unscheduled plane swap in Atlanta. I got some cheese fries and a pretzel. I know I wasn't supposed to spend money, but yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. And then um, we downgraded to a 700, so my B actually got the deadhead and then the D was now the B. But then we got here, but the D turned B lives and was based here, so she left and now we're all at the hotel together. Um, my band time is not until 6, 10 p.m. So I think I can get in like a full beach day till like 4 p.m. I mean, I'm getting an umbrella. I want to lay out, order food. Like I just want to be out there. I bought my sunscreen, got my bathing suit. Like your girl is ready for a beach day. You feel me? What is this? Why is she curved like that? Like why has she been doing this all day? Finally gonna get out of this uniform that I've been in for like nine hours and shower get into my jammies. I'm so excited to go to the beach. Are y'all ready? Because I'm ready. The engineer went MIA and then he re-popped up. Anyway, I had to switch my room. Homegirl gonna say, um, okay, I can get you a different room. And then she had to give me another room. And I was like, oh, dang, I won't get my beach view. And she goes, oh, I'll give you a room with a beach view. Don't you worry. This is the room next to my room, which is further down the building line, not further down, closer to the beach. So, in fact, I still do not have a beach view. And I had to change my room again. And this one is a tub and not a shower. I wanted a shower only. I don't want to have to keep stepping in the tub. But you know what? I'm not switching rooms again. The engineer came and fixed my little lamps because these lamps over here would not turn on. So the engineer had to come up here and fix these. I mean, they, everybody's been so nice about it. And I've been trying to be nice, be nice about it. But it is, what, now 108 and I'm just now winding down in my room. So there's that. Hey guys, I woke up at the beach. I'm so excited. And okay, so homegirl didn't lie about the view. I can actually see the water from my room, which is lit, lit, lit. Um, I'm about to go down there and get my chairs and my umbrella. It is like 10 a.m. And then um, they start serving food at 11. So I'm trying to get down there by 1030. Um, get my little umbrella, get set up, and just have a day. I'm probably going to be out there till 4 because our band time is at 6. So if I get back here at 4, then I still have time to, you know, like do my thug thizzle. The sun is shining. Now I look a little crusty because I just woke up. Like literally it just popped up the bed like, ah, let's go to the beach. Um, but I did sleep until I wanted to sleep because I have that power and that control. I'm going to show you the view and then we're going to get dressed and then we're going to go to the beach. Okay. Okay. So I just made it in back in the hotel from the beach. It's 354 and I told y'all I was gonna go till about four. I, why why <laughs> y'all why I was handing in my towels, right? And the guy's like, I mean this with the most utmost respect. I'm like, uh-huh. He's like, you are just so beautiful. And I just bust out laughing. I was like, thank you. He's like, let me give you this. And I'm scared a little bit. Like, what is this man about to try to give me? But it was just a towel card. But I was like, I'm with the airline, so like I don't need to tell Kari, but I do appreciate the compliment. He's like, yeah, yeah, come back anytime. Mister, y'all gotta tell me, I love the beach. Um, but I'm about to chill, I have two hours before my van time and I'm about to like shower 
and then just chill so I can muster up my energy to work today. It's about that time. We're going to work. Two flights today. The first one is full. We go Fort Lauderdale to New Orleans and then New Orleans to Houston. That one only has like 50 people on it. The first one has like 160 people on it. We're on 800 today. Oh, I'm going to miss the beach. I did some much needed planning of my schedule. I got it pretty much worked out. So tomorrow I'm going to make all the things happen. And fingers crossed that our contract passes because I am kind of banking on that. Not for the raise or anything. Well, yeah, for the raise, but like if the contract passes i can work a little bit less because i have some things going on in may I'm trying to jump start some things you know move my career forward and all that fun stuff so in order for that to happen i need some more time off i'm also trying to hold on to my social life i'm gonna go home and visit my family in may as well go into a festival all of these things stay updated watch my shorts follow my tiktok because a lot of the things that i'll be doing when i'm not at work will be shown on those two places if you want to keep up with me if you want to keep up with e that's what you need to do okay we're going to work say bye to our beautiful beach view our first flight from fort lauderdale to new orleans we were really delayed and then we weren't delayed and then you said what if they have a reese's can you get me one just like a reese's cup um, yeah, so now we had to swap planes in New Orleans. Let me rewind. So we flew our, <laughs> okay, so we're here in New Orleans, but let me give you an update. We flew from Port Lauderdale to New Orleans. Um, that flight was like 40 minutes late, but then they took 15 minutes off. We were supposed to leave at like 7.30. We didn't leave until like 7.40. Um, took us a minute to get here. But now we're sitting here on the ground waiting for our flight to Houston. It's 40 minutes delayed, right? But the kicker is the plane hasn't even left Dallas yet. And I'm like, bro, we need the plane in order to go home. So like we were trying to get beignets, but the place closed at 9. And we, and she ran up there like literally 8.55. So, yeah. And now I'm going to do some stuff on my phone until it's time to go home. Hey, I made it back to my car. It is 11.38 p.m. and I'm about to drive home. I have two days off and then I'm realizing, I don't even think I took a thumbnail picture today. My hair, look at my hair. Like, my hair looks like how I feel, which is tired. But I gotta say, wearing pants is lit, lit, lit because I'm leaving the airport after working six days straight and my feet do not hurt. They love these sneakers. I am a pants girl. I have been converted. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.